Okay. Hey, it's Becky. So, um, to access a TVS note, you will go up to Total View School. So let me log out because, you know, got to start from the beginning. So you log into your teacher account. You could log into an admin account, but that won't get you super far. So this is my teacher account. It ends in LC because when I was first starting, I thought this was just a fake account and it's not. Okay. So then you go to the student. So I'm going to pull up a student um, of my own. So please just ignore that it's going to give their personal information. So you can put in their first name, their last name. A lot of people use student ID. I just use last name because that's what's easiest for me to remember. Click search at the bottom and then click on the student's name. All right. So now this is where it gets helpful. So if you use these little tabs here to get information about the student. So if you want, you could click here on notes in order to see the notes that have been made in the past. So you can see the student already has a running note. In this case, um, you can see all the other notes others have left before. To create a new note, you just go right here to where it says new note. So you don't even have to be in the notes. I just always do that because I like to look at their notes before I make a new one. You click new note and then it opens. When it opens, it'll go just to this student. You can add a tag. You don't really need to. Um, so what I usually do, the simplest way is just go here to templates. And if you click on it, it'll create a drop down menu. So of that drop down menu, we're looking for the one that says SY2122 SRC running note. That's the running note Christian just created uh, yesterday, which is awesome. So I'm clicking on that and it automatically creates what she wants to see at, at every running note. So um, date of initial referral, why they're being referred first and second, that'll be on those no referral forms. Um, initial contact attempt, closed if applicable. Um, and then underneath you're gonna do running notes. So um, adding updates when you reach out again, when you have contact, um, those periodic notes. You click save. Um, I'm not going to click save because the student already has a running note. But if I were to do that, I would be clicking save. Right now I'm clicking cancel. And then that creates the running note. Um, so hopefully that helps. Um, and then you can always access the running note from your account and you can always edit it. All right. Thanks. Bye.